All right, we're on a 1960-ish home. I got some little problems with it, nothing too serious, and uh, just follow us along on this inspection and let's go check it out. All right, we're gonna start on the roof today, and you can see that this roof is in pretty good condition. It's been replaced at some point in time. Uh, right here, you can see that they've done some work to this chimney. I'm never really a big fan of whenever you see a lot of caulking around a chimney, it just raises some alarms. So we're gonna make sure that we're gonna get in the attic and double check that it's not leaking or any evidence of previous leaking, but the mortar cap looks pretty good. The chimney cap looks good. And then also, if you look down here, you, if you put your home on the market or you for sale, you always wanna check the, uh, make sure all the debris is removed off the roof. This is an easy area to get a water leak. The previous inspector before wrote up that there, there was like some pitting across the roof here. Um, again, you can write this up, but also you wanna just really double check on the inside to see if you really see any structural d damage to this. I mean, if it's performing, it's 1960s, it might've taken a hit from a tree or something in the past. So formally a whole opinion, just don't say it's pitting and then move on because you might scare your buyer whenever it's not needed. The next thing is, is you want to keep an eye out on here, uh, over here are the penetrations. You can see where the squirrels have eaten up on this a little bit, but right here they they did not get the, the lead boot and fold it in. They just used a, a bead of caulking around the top and that's really not enough. It will uh, eventually leak over time. And then home inspectors are required to call out previous repairs. Doesn't mean that there's anything wrong, just says, hey, we've done some work in the past, or there has been some work in the past. So makes you ask questions, maybe you get some of the warranty paperwork. But uh, yeah, this roof actually looks pretty good. Just some signs of previous work done. A call out you'll see a lot of home inspectors call is uh, we'll even document driveways. Yes, it's not part of the structure, but this can get a expensive. So we just bring it to the client's attention that the, the driveway is damaged more than normal. Okay, swinging around the out exterior on the east side of the structure. We just uh, noticed, you know, the, the condenser is a little bit older. It's slightly out of level, but it, it is older. You know, it's a, it's a 1997 unit, but right now it's, it's, it's working really well. You can see the refrigeration line, it's condensating, and uh, uh, it's blowing out pretty warm air. The, the motor sounds good. You can see it's condensating over here. So we'll write this up saying that you want this to terminate 36 inches away from the slab, but also you have the secondary terminating over here. We don't see anything or even previous evidence of it coming out yet. So right now we can let them know it's working, but we also will let them know it's R22 Freon. It's an older unit and they want to come in budgeting to possibly replace this in the future. But right now it appears to be working. We'll see what it looks like in the attic. Swinging around the exterior, they did cut back the foliage for the most part, but uh, you always want to have foliage about 18 inches away from your structure. So swinging out to the west side of the structure, you can see they, they were worried about some slopes in the floor over here, but you can see that there's no real damaged brick, no heavy cracking. You can see where they uh, pointed the mortar, mortar like uh, they've done some mortar patches, but they're not really in like 45 degree angle and you can really see that the consistency between the bricks, uh, they're consistent. So it's not like they're covering up deflection cracks. Also in between the windows here, you can really see that uh, they're consistent too as well. It's not, you know, you can see that there's no shifting in the window. Um, everything else over here looks pretty good. The water's gonna flow away. We don't have any wood rot. The saw. The soffits are clear. So yeah, just a 1960s home, you know, looking pretty good. And then we do have some evidence of cast iron right here, uh, but they've actually replaced all the plumbing lines in the backyard and I can show you that. So in the garage, first impression, let's see if I can get some better lighting in here. But the first impression, you can really see um, a crack running straight through the center of the slab and it's a diff pretty decent crack. And then when you rub your foot across it, you can feel that it's actually at a level. 
and you can see it goes all the way through so the structure is split in half other things too we have swarmer castles right here termites and the termite damage is pretty extensive in this garage it's all over the place so you can see right here two as well coming around the corner over here you can see that they've actually eaten through a whole two two by fours this wood too you can see they've gotten all the way up here eating the whole thing and then uh, they've replaced several other two by fours and there's no evidence of stickers of prior repairs or anything so we do have pretty extensive termite damage in the in the garage and we're gonna bring it to the client let them know they want to treat this garage make sure everything's good and swarmer castles are really cool i like them you know finding stuff like that they've been here for a while and uh they've been eating going to town also see leaving the garage the reason why you have trees that probably haven't been watered properly and they're they're reaching you know they split the driveway the whole way through and it follows the pretty much the the crack through the garage next thing is with the drainage through the yard you can kind of see it looks like it's sloping towards the uh, the house here so we might recommend just a little bit of like maybe a surface drain over here but another thing too you get this on a lot of older properties you see how high the soil is you can see where our inspectors were digging and they were looking for termites but uh, um, you can see how high it is and we always document high soil and then whenever you do see this you want to look on the inside to see if you see any water damage or termite activity on the inside of the structure they have replaced the whole panel box i'm not going to open it today uh, they've already done it they've already inspectors done it but they've actually replaced everything with afcis and gfcis it's a new eaton 200 amp panel box and uh, um they got a they got a new ground rod outside and uh, um, you can see where they've done a lot of the drain the sewage sewer line repairs so we'll let them know all of that asking for just to look up the documentation and ask them if there's any warranties with any of this work that might come along with it so me eating my words a little bit but you can see that where the the dip is across the purlin support here uh, let me see get my laser pointer on it um, right here you can see the dip in it and you can see where the purlin is falling loose over there so this isn't properly supported anymore and that's the reason why you're getting that sag across the roof line so it is something worth reporting it to re to at least reinstall the purlins so they're properly installed next find is off the ac unit you can see the primary drain line terminates into the pan drain line this is not allowed but it is obviously a little bit older unit so at bare minimum you want to you want to insulate bare minimum i mean you're talking about performance reasons not like installed properly right but you want to at least bare minimum insulate this because you have cold water traveling through this pipe it's in a hot attic it's going to condensate and cause water issues next thing is, is you can see they forgot to put insulation over here over the master bedroom and uh, it's completely missing so i'm going to try to walk over there to see if i see any damage on those galvanized water lines over there so they only repiped half of the home all right i didn't really see much corrosion or anything on these pipes but one thing i want to talk about is this flashlight again i know i made a youtube video of it in the past but man check this out man like that is a bright flashlight that's 3000 lumens in the attic space and look how bright that is it really helps you identify any issues so I will, i'll drop a link in the comment section and uh check it out and uh, purchase it and it actually helps out the youtube channel if you pick up this flashlight you can see over here where the new plumbing is coming in and then like always like i said we always find water leaks on most property due to improperly installed p-traps or plumbing connections on these flips so it's just something that we see pretty often whenever you see uh, clean outs like this you always want to open it up and really take some time fill up the tub 
and I look in there and uh, today we found a water leak which is cool good good find I always want to pay attention to uh, missing weather stripping too as well easy spot to uh, easy easy call out an easy spot to save energy so here you go this is what it looks like uh, the missing insulation below the attic area with no insulation but also look at this too so as soon as you get the fan in there the camera auto calibrates and it's actually a little not anymore but it is a little harder to see so you can see it's calibrated to that you get it out of the and then it shows up a little bit interesting so you will want to keep that in mind when you're using your FLIR camera you want to try to keep out those hot spots so you can pick up that FLIR infrared camera this is a fluke <laughs> they're gonna get mad but you can see what it looks like but come over here and this is what it looks like when it's insulated over here so you can see there's insulation over here compared to over there look again so the biggest way you get experience with these cameras is you just practice and you use them in the field and get, get used to the readings you get back to make the right judgment calls also whenever you see just little patches and on stress cracks you know you don't want to run and call foundation problems either you want I'd like to say three signs of problems so this is a, a warning sign but I mean a 1960s home is gonna have stress cracks there you go uh, another great one 1960s home not not too bad um, again we're always going to find stuff and please if you have any opinions on the stuff i find drop it in the comments section and let's talk about it all right that's uh chris with the action please like and share these videos and catch us on the next one bye